In this video, I'll be showing you how to insert figure numbers with graphs, maps, tables, or anything you include to support your work in a written investigation. What to do is insert a table of figures. To do that, I need to go back up to the contents page. Underneath the contents page, insert a new page, so control enter, click home heading, and choose the same heading as you have done with all your chapter headings. In this, this one, and you would type in the table of figures or figure. Whatever you want to, doesn't matter. Now, you need to get into some figures. First of all, you need to press reference, insert table of figures, select the style you want to, mess around, see what you, see what you like. If you've done that, you press OK. I don't particularly like that, so I'm going to change the style again. I'm going to put it back to normal. Okay, so no table of figures entries found. We need to create some. Let's say you've got your introduction. And let's say you're busy typing around a pretty name in this background information. And you want to insert a model. First thing to do is get that model. So, in this case, you might want to insert a copy of the Burgess model. In my case, on this one, I can just insert a picture, but you can simply copy and paste it in if you want. So I'm just going to search. So I'm going to search for the Burgess model. And here it is. Choose one that I like. I quite like this one. Okay. And obviously, I want to resize it. It's a bit too big. It doesn't need to be that big. I might want to change the layout so I can either use that if it appears, or simply just do wrap, right click, wrap text. And then choose the style you want. Square is usually quite good. Okay, so you're given a, you've got given a figure number. Now you need to insert the figure number title. Simply click reference, insert caption, in this case, I'm going to do a big one, first one. But again, you choose, you can change the label. Whatever you want, you give it a number, you press OK, and it appears. However, it's not synced in with this. So, first of all, you delete that, click on the image itself, right click, insert caption, and type it again. Position, where do you want to get? Below the selection, or the above. I tend to prefer below, and it appears. Now we need to connect these two. So whenever we arrange or move the files, we stay together. So you've got click there, hold down control, from the image, right click, and press group, and now the two link. You have a figure number, which obviously you can edit. You can maybe increase the size, change the text font, whatever you want to do. But it's now got a figure number. And we can now update the table. The table, right click, update field, and it appears. And that is how you insert a graphic. Secondly, you give a graphic figure number. And you need to do that throughout your entire report. Good. One of the advantages of using this, you constantly do it. Every single table, graphic, whatever you used, you'll always keep the same number. And it will change that number. If you insert a new figure before it, it will change the number, and likewise, if you insert after it, it will change the number accordingly, and it will keep the numbers 